hammer it into a curve. Yeah, they didn't have the actual tools, the correct tools to do the job. A lot of the staff that were brought in through agencies had never worked on, on a track situation. They were not tracks experienced track workers. But how do you make um, a, a straight piece of rail into, into a curve? Well, you, you, you can't. I mean, that, that's why it, it popped out, because you can't do it. Kenyon Confronts has obtained a secret internal report into that incident. It says the cost of the mistakes was £900,000, that four maintenance workers were injured, and that it was just one of a number of projects that had overrun. It then says there's little evidence of any corporate ability to learn lessons from previous failures. It was really sort of hidden. I mean, they were trying to keep it sort of quiet. And uh, it took a, a good few weeks for LUL to find out exactly what had happened down there. It was quite a, a major incident. The work was put right but the companies involved are still contracted to carry out track work. So, how do gangs get to work on the underground in the first place? Well, first of all, you need one of these. It's called a green card or passport to safety. To qualify, our man had just a two-hour safety lesson from London Underground. He had to be at least 18 years old. Here's a lad from another gang. How old are you, Tim? 17. When you were in the tow? And we found evidence that workers can get down the hole without a green card at all. Some just have a letter of introduction like this from their subcontractor saying they will get a green card sometime in the future. Our gang foreman, John, will now demonstrate how seriously he takes his passport to safety. This is a track trolley. It's here to carry heavy equipment. It's against the rules to ride on the trolley. If you fell off, you could be dismembered. As usual, John the foreman leads by example. What they were doing there is clearly dangerous. Those things are actually very heavy, and they could easily fall off and um, get their leg underneath or whatever. So it's dangerous for them and uh, dangerous for everybody, and they shouldn't be doing that. Last year, there were fears of a potential terrorist attack on the tubes involving poisonous gas. The authorities later played it down, but it does raise security questions. Our undercover worker never had any of his references checked and was once left alone for 20 minutes in a tunnel under the Houses of Parliament. Right, well, we're waiting and they still haven't fixed that sleeper yet. Oh, well, come on. Can't get well, at least they've got access to the track. It's a start. Stagger. And our gang is going to be helped by another one. 14 men in all. Should be some action then. Apparently, another crew has failed to prepare the site properly. So the inevitable happens. The time spent on this job so far. 576 man hours. No new sleeper for Covent Garden tonight. Oh, apart from this one. The excitement's all been a bit too much for John. But why is he always so tired? Can hardly be overwork. Our undercover man took me to see him. We met at a garage in South London. Hurry, right, John. How are you doing, man? Not too bad, Gizzard. Yeah, right. This is your met Paul, yeah, mate. What we'll have to do, we'll have to go down, one will have to stay at all. You Turns out, though, that he's not just a tube out. worker, he has a day job, yeah. too. Great. Running the garage. Do you work, what do you do, tubes? Every night? Every night, yeah. Every night? Every night, yeah. People don't believe it, but I do it, mate. How do you do that? <laughs> just keep your eyes open, drink Paul, <laughs> So, by day, he's fixing your car. By night, he's fixing your tube. Having two jobs is against London Underground rules. If that worries you, wait till you see what a foreman from another gang gets up to. Two passengers are a favourite target for pickpockets. They steal wallets, take the money, and throw what's left out of carriage windows. Sometimes they leave the credit cards. Did you? Big pocket, isn't it? Big pocket on the front. 
You find many of them, John? Yeah, I do. Are we interested in them? Really? And he's managed to find a way of cashing in. It's night five of the sleeper job. This could be it. But there's a problem again. Apparently, they need the fire alarm switched off, and it hasn't been. It's not the gang's fault, but it does mean another short night shift. They spent just 35 minutes on the track. No work got done. This job, this, this job is never going to get done, is it? Oh, well done. OK. Yeah. Just might take a couple of years. A couple of years, isn't it? So the job that should take 60 man hours has so far taken... 700. We're paying for it. We calculate the sleeper job has so far earned the gang around £10,000 in wages. The contract to employ them will have been paid significantly more. Eh? What, why is that then? So now you know why it's so expensive tickets. Why? Because of all the work you have to do? Well, yeah. You witnessed your own doing last night and tonight. Sleep easy in your bed, wouldn't you, eh? <laughs> We thought commuters would like to know what happens on the underground whilst they're asleep. So we put on a display of some of our secret filming on a giant screen outside a central London tube. Do you want to know why your ticket prices are so high? We've got secret filming of people on the London Underground explaining that they don't do anything night after night and laughing about how much it costs us to, to get tickets. You've just come out of the tube, yeah? Yep. Can we just show you our little film, which will take one minute? So this is what they do overnight on the tube okay. when they're supposed to be repairing it for you. We, we were watching them, and what they do um, on occasions is they, we found people just sleeping on the underground overnight. They're right. supposed to work in gangs of up to 22 men, and sometimes they all sit down and just chat all night. How do they get away with that, though? Because, I mean, if, if that's London Underground, then obviously somebody should take issue with them because they're spending our money. I mean, we have such an appalling public transport system in this country anyway. This guy here, he goes along the tracks and he picks up lost wallets really? and takes the credit cards and uses them himself. Disgusting. is how much we're going to have to spend every year under the new tube system, ladies and gentlemen, on £1 billion. So you'll be paying whether you travel on it or not next year? Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Disgusting. <laughs> I don't want to pay that much. It's too much. <laughs> hey, can you price? Yeah. Do you think they're high? Yeah, of course they're high. What do you think of the London Underground? That's a joke. <laughs> The service is appalling, uh, it regularly doesn't run to time, there's regularly no trains, usual story, and no one seems to be able to do anything about it. Did you know that when the new system starts, they can actually allow performance to drop by 5% <laughs> and the private companies will still get their bonuses? Jolly good. If only my life was so easy. Well, it doesn't happen in any other industry, so why should it happen here? <laughs> we wanted some answers, so we started with John, the gaffer from our gang. Hello there, Paul Kenyon, BBC Television. How does it feel to run the most inefficient workshire gang on the London Underground? Huh? We've got five weeks of secret filming of you, encouraging your man to skive and do nothing. So, do you think you're a, a hard-working chap? Do my bit, yeah. Yeah? We've seen you doing nothing for six days at a time and getting your, your gang to do nothing, encouraging them. Keep a low profile and don't get seen. <laughs> Does that ring a bell? No. Yeah, well, that was you. You had people on your shift sleeping on the platform. Yeah? Oh, so so what have you got to say for yourself? Well, I mean, this safe. is your chance, seriously. 
we've got you riding on the trolley. I mean, you might think it's a small breach of rules, but you're actually putting people's lives in danger. I don't know. You haven't got me riding on any trolleys. Is this the rest of your gang? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're going to have to work hard tonight. Yeah, oh yeah. You're showing more energy chewing that piece of gum than you do all the time you're in work. <laughs> The next step up in the chain of responsibility is his employer, Sky Blue. Now, on their website, they offer a £50 reward for anyone with suggestions on how to improve efficiency. It says, speak to this man, Colin Trussler, the MD. Think the money's mine. Good morning, Sky Blue. Hello, can I speak to Colin Trussler, please? Good calling, please. It's Paul Kenyon from the BBC. He's in a meeting at the moment. Sorry, I'm just I'm only responding to the thing on the website. Because it seems so straightforward. It just says any suggestions over efficiency and give us a call and this is the call. And I have got some really good suggestions. Oh, okay. About efficiency, and I'm sure you'd like to hear them. Who shall I tell them to? I'll see if I'll find out for you. One moment. Please hold the line. Please hold the But holding the line was beginning to waste too many of my man hours. In a statement, Sky Blue told us they take our allegations seriously and will investigate fully. But we wanted to show someone our evidence and film an interview. So we went right to the top, London Underground. Hi, we're going to speak to the chairman. Can you just bear with me? Yeah, and then will you call him? Because he, he's expecting us. Okay. He probably was. Word was getting round about our big screen showing. The chairman's advisors all seem to be on answer phone. Paul Kenyon here, BBC Television. We're down in your foyer and we've been waiting for a while and we just wondered um, if there was any chance we could have a quick chat with you. The message didn't seem to be getting through. It would be nice for somebody with some responsibility to come and explain what's going on. So, it was the big screen and megaphone again, directly outside the London Underground headquarters. Will somebody come down from London Underground and give us an explanation? We're happy to show you all the filming that we've managed to acquire over the last few months on the London Underground. We just want you to come down, see our evidence, and give us an interview. We think you've got an obligation to come and explain yourself. We've got a few questions to put to you. If you want to come out and talk to us? But they didn't. Instead, they gave us a statement. It says that employees should not have other jobs without prior consent. Any staff caught sleeping at work would be deemed unfit to undertake their duties and disciplined accordingly. It also says no one under 18 should be employed. In reference to the new system of PPP, they admit there has been lost working time as staff familiarise themselves with new practices within their stringent safety procedures. And lastly, they say London Underground takes the safety of its customers and its staff very seriously and would take immediate action if it were ever to find evidence of malpractice. The new system of running the tube is due to start this spring. It's likely that many of the subcontractors already involved will be part of it. But critics say this mix of public and private companies has already been tried and it failed. It has been shown in spades on the railways that this idea of breaking up a, a railway system into infrastructure and operations does not work. And the British Rail has proved it conclusively to the rest of the world. And what are we doing now? Trying to copy it on the underground. We must be crazy. It's just a, a gravy train for the private contractors. It's night six, and you'll never believe it, that sleeper job's finally being done. It's taken almost 900 man-hours, about 14 times longer than it should have. It was partly caused by confusion between subcontractors and London Underground, partly a lack of proper supervision, and partly a culture of work avoidance in the gangs. Something to think about next time you go down the tube. Take one gang about half an hour. Yeah. Take, take, take three gangs all night. Yeah. <laughs>